I have uploaded the Piper UI to GitHub. This just makes it convenient to call the Piper command with the selected inputs for the voice and the prompt. The code is available and written in C Sharp as a WPF application. Let's install this. Go to the releases link on the right. From here you can download the zip file. You can move it to a more convenient location. But for this video I will just extract it within the downloads folder. It will create a folder called Piper UI, which will contain all of the files needed to run it. There is no models or output folder, because we haven't run the application yet. This folder contains all of the files from the original Piper TTSEXE and also all of the files needed by the UI application. Let's go ahead and launch the UI by double clicking the Piper UI EXE with the duck icon. First select a language, I will select English for this example. Then select a voice that is available for the English language. I am going to randomly select Amy. Now let's select the quality that is available for Amy. I will select medium for this example. For the prompt, I will enter the prompt we all know and love from the video where I compared wave 2 lip, video retalking, and die net. If the prompt has multiple sentences, I notice the speaker doesn't pause for too long in between sentences, so I often use commas instead of periods between sentences for a bit more of a pause like in the sentence I just spoke. Let's go ahead and click generate. It will download the model files and then play the output. This is all wrong. I shouldn't be out here. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. This one sounded a bit more robotic than the one I use, I think, anyways. Now we should see the models folder and the output folder with the Onyx and JSON files in the models and the audio file in the output. This is all wrong. I shouldn't be out here. I should. The voice I am using is Alber. Let's try that one out with this prompt. This is all wrong. I shouldn't be out here. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. We can see it created another audio file in the output folder and downloaded the model for Alber in the models folder. Just for fun, let's try out a different language. I will select Spanish. I have gone ahead and selected a voice, quality, and something that sounds like Spanish in the prompt. Hola, ¿cómo está? ¿Qué es el biblioteca? And that is about it. Just the basic functionality we would normally run with a text command. This just makes it a bit more convenient to run it. There are lots of voices and languages available for Piper. I will be trying different ones out. You can also toggle dark and light mode from the settings icon on the bottom left. That setting came built in with the WPF UI library I am using for this app, which is the same library used by Stability Matrix, by the way. And that is all there is for this little application. That is all for today. Thanks for watching.